Hi, good morning. This is Osomo Wakabayashi from The Ideas. I'm the WordPress consultant and designer. So I'd like to show you a G Translate plugin. Let's do it. So I wanted to show you uh, this translation um, a new plugin uh, that I found. So it's called the Translate WordPress with G Translate. <clears throat> So it looks like there are lots of active users, uh, 200,000 active installation, and it has a good rating, uh, over 1,500 uh, five star. So uh, I have already installed. So uh, quickly, so what what this does is um, uh, a Google Translate. Uh, they use Google Translate source, so you can instantly. Uh, translate from English to in my case I'm using Japanese so translate now as we know the Google translation is not all perfect you know it depending on language um, some languages are probably 80% perfect but uh, the rest 20% you have to, you want you know manually fix that and this plugin lets you fix this so as you can see you can click and you can manually fix this text and then save it. So uh, I'd like to walk you through how you can use this. So let's begin. Okay, so uh, English language selected and then uh, pick Japanese. Uh, looks like you can move stuff around here. English top. Um, so this is Google translation. You, so you can pick any other languages too, but uh, I cannot really uh, read and write other languages. So uh, I'm just picking English and Japanese. Uh, that I'm capable of and then uh, so which look so now has a language uh, code so ENJA and you can do uh, different style um, language name and with flags and uh, flags drop down so forth so I'm gonna just use a nice drop down with flags too and then translate from English, yes. And then if you paid, I can show you that the price planning is for this plugin. Uh, it's free, but if you pay for extra, so you can have um, the sub directly or subdomain. Okay, so uh, I'm using pay, so I'm gonna use um, subdomain for now. And then uh, show in the menu, so you can do that, and you can actually put the short codes, and you can display that uh, from for any any pages. So I'm just gonna use a short code for this demo, and then show floating language selector. So it looks like um, there's some other option to uh, display language widget too. So I'm gonna just pick no for this um, uh, this uh, this demo. All right, so this is probably simple. Uh, way to uh, setting up and uh, assuming you can use this uh, uh, short code to a display so I'm going to just uh, hit the save changes so I'm going to uh, test this plugin uh, using this my company's uh, about page so let's hit the edit page so I'm going to just display that on top uh, let's just uh, take element and then uh, use a, a code block and let's just copy this uh, short code and then paste it onto this and hit save uh, it's here so let's take a look I'm gonna hit the update and check it out okay so I have that plugin installed and I have that the widget displayed here so let's see uh, if it's going to translate good it takes no time so that's pretty useful but uh, I can read the Japanese and then it's not really perfect and the most of the case uh, I like to tweak a little bit and this plugin apparently lets you do that according to uh, their website the G translate plugin website uh, I have to just copy this uh, URL up to the end of uh, my URL Okay, so it asks me to uh, log in, uh, of course, because otherwise anybody can uh, mess up my Japanese website. So 
So this login uh, information is not your WordPress uh, login access. So this is, uh, so when you purchase the G Translate plugin, you have to register and then you get their own dashboard. So now you look at the, the little pencil mark here and then it uh, looks like you can translate. So you hit that. Okay, so that's cool. And uh, here's the Google translation. So um, yeah, something like that. I would like to change this. Uh, this is not really quite right. So I said, uh, you know, uh, oops. something like that and hit save success okay so that's really cool and it's easy I want to see if the menu item also changed too because I want to this is a portfolio but I like to change that to let's say um, um, something like that okay so that changed that as well now, I'm not sure if this the uh, menu items are going to be changed all entire website. Uh, let's see. Let's. I want to check that out too. So this is a different page, and so that's a video tutorial page, and I can put uh, I think J A in front of it. All right. Okay. Actually, it did. So that. Um, uh, the menu item too so you don't really have to change page by page so that's really nice now something like that it says uh, December 18th but um, this looks funny I wonder if uh, this is a meta tag um, I wonder if I can change that as well so let's see okay uh, yeah this one I'm not sure let's see if uh... Oh, okay, okay, maybe let's see if I can change that too. Okay, save. Yes, yes, it did. Uh, okay, so if that's the case, I would like to change that to uh, this 2019 part two. Uh, so this must be. Um, uh, yeah, I said 2019. Let's see if I can uh, change that to. Like that. And then maybe delete this. Usually Japanese, it's that uh, the year comes in front and the month and the date. So. All right. Hmm. Okay, so it didn't. Oh, okay, change. Okay, so it didn't work this one. So it's funny. So 18th, so date. Um, yeah, so it wasn't really perfect. And also, I found that um, it didn't really change that the rest of it either. So unfortunately, uh, this one you have to manually change one by one. So it's not really practical if you are going to be. Uh, translating a little details like meta tag and so forth um, so if you need to translate a small portion like that detail and you probably need that WMPL uh, kind of native plugin okay so there's some list uh, restriction but um, I think other than that it looks pretty good so you when you um, when you sign up for the paid version, uh, you get access to their dashboard and then uh, it gives you uh, uh, the username and password so that you can log in to their dashboard. So uh, I'm not going to go through all the details setting too um, because you can go to their uh, tutorial. They have some videos and they have some documents there. But uh, I'd like to just quickly see. So this is the edit the history. I just um, edit a couple couple of um, uh, sentences um, so you it looks like you can kind of go back here's the action here uh, let's see if I go oh so you can undo so that's good oops it's failure I don't know why so are you sure so you are not authorized to edit this common text so you may turn off centralized translation option and try again okay what's that okay so let's see it must be some settings let's go to settings maybe 
Okay, centralized translations here. So you centralize the database. Let's see. What? So maybe do I have to turn this off? Okay, let's try. And then go back to edit history. Now, if I can, are you sure? Oh, okay. So you have to kind of turn this, uh, disable that part. So I think that's good because I like to actually disable that because I made a mistake there. Okay, but uh, the rest was pretty. Okay, I've changed that part. So you can control there as well. And then this is a collaborator. So I think this is good. Uh, if you hire or if you have somebody, uh, some translator, um, then uh, you can give them the access so that um, you know they can translate on your behalf. So I think you can just give add and the email and give them username and then here's a password it automatically generated. And then collaborator or the admin, I assume admin uh, has all the access as same as you and the collaborator has only access to translate. So and they hit the save. Okay, so this is kind of neat. So let's take a look at the pricing though. So there are free version here. So it looks like you can translate all the languages using Google uh, translation, it's machine translation and unlimited words and the previous. So uh, if you don't mind uh, perfect translation, so this is uh, probably a good option and at least you can try this out too. And if you want some uh, perfect translation so that you can edit, correct it some part and upgrade that to a custom one. So it's $7.99 per month. And then uh, this is for bilingual. It's only two languages. So main native language and the second language. And then if you want to have all languages, you have to pay $10 extra per month. Uh, but you get um, uh, unlimited and then also search engine index and then edit translation, which is that I demo today. And then uh, the next one is a startup $17.99 per month, uh, gives you all the access. Uh, basically, like it's the same as here, all the languages. And then business one and enterprise. So they use different technology. Uh, it's called translation delivery network. So which means that uh, your translation content is not going to be uh, on your server. So it's somewhere a different cloud. So uh, it's going to be pretty light and then uh, your website performance is going to be much better. Uh, it's going to be run faster than uh, using a native plugin. So uh, that's a really pros, but, but I think uh, the downside of this is uh, something like a meta tags and probably uh, some categories uh, you won't be able to translate um, so that uh, there's some restriction for that part. So, but if you don't care about that details, uh, this is going to be a pretty good choice and the price is pretty affordable. And even though if you hire a translator, uh, outsourcing a translator, uh, you probably, you know, bring the cost down too, because you don't have, they don't, because, because they don't have to uh, translate from scratch. You know, the so Google already translated, um, you know, 80 to 90%. So here are some pros. Uh, for this plugin, uh, the setting up is super easy. It took me only like three to five minutes, and then uh, it's all auto detect and translated. They're pulling all the translation from Google, and the front end manual and translation is included. So that's really easy for uh, non techie people, and it's compatible with all WordPress themes and plugins. So there's no uh, compatibility issues. I think they, they're using different technology. And then uh, it's really fast. So this is actually the one, uh, the performance feature is really um, uh, attractive for me. Uh, so there's no back end, front end slowdown. So they're using a translation uh, delivery network technology, right? And the prices, I think it's pretty reasonable for this. So one con uh, I can think of is uh, lack some of the functionality of WPML. Um, so I, I just demo some meta tags and those things. So maybe ta taxonomy, translation, maybe um, lacking. 
and if you're um, managing an e-commerce site so I'm not so sure um, it will be a good idea so but if you're using just front-end uh, content translation uh, this will be a probably good choice. so thank you for watching I hope this helps see you next time mm -hmm.